investigation into what vegetable or herb is making people sick in North Carolina is ongoing. WREL first told you about the outbreak of cyclospora last week. Health reporter Grace Haber continues to push for answers from health officials as she explains why it could be a while before we have the complete picture. If I asked you to remember everything you ate last Tuesday, you might remember that salad mix you brought for lunch. But would you also remember that little sprinkle of cilantro you added to your tacos for dinner? Recalling every detail, even the tiniest ones, is what those testing positive for this parasite in Wake County are being asked to do. We do an interview with a communicable disease nurse that actually lasts around an hour and a half because we ask them to go back um, about two weeks and review everything they've ate with us. Trace facts like these also happen in other investigations for things like salmonella or listeria. What makes cyclospora different is time. A parasite like this might take weeks for someone to have symptoms. So far, no direct source has been found. With over 100 cases not linked to restaurants, Food safety experts say membership cards could help this puzzling case. It is true that the outbreak could continue until they get a handle on it. But what they can also do is, for instance, take your credit card receipts where to show you where you went to eat, your membership card in grocery stores. As questions linger, the health department continues to withhold names of connected restaurants, citing no fault by the businesses. Though we've repeatedly asked since first reporting this outbreak last week, some agree while others say more should be done. In a case like this, I wouldn't say that anybody's had a misstep or doing anything wrong. I think this is just the way that it plays out when you have low information. They haven't named the actual source, either the restaurant or the grocery store, which is unfortunate. Um, we at Consumer Reports advocate that you give actionable information to consumers so they can make a difference in their own health. Grace Haba, WRAL News. More than 130 cases have been reported in Wake County so far. Durham County and Orange County reported one additional case each last month.